I'm sorry? What was it like working with Sheila Florence that played Lizzie Birdsworth? Challenging. <laughs> but fun. She liked to laugh a lot. And wet her pants occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was a frightful giggler. A frightful giggler. There were a number of them in the show. Now, Sheila Florence had my utmost admiration for the amount of work that she was able to do at her then age, um, which of course is, I mean, I'm, I'm 79 and Sheila wasn't that old then, but she seemed old to me. Um, and, you know, putting in 12 hour days, I think she was inclined to get the giggles and, you know, deserved to get the giggles sometimes. <laughs> She was all right. She was great. Tough old bird. She was tough, but she, yeah. you know, she was always at hand for refreshments. I remember the, <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, character I played was Irene Zervos. At 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning. This was my first day, so I, if I could share something with you, I was terrified. Um, a certain character or actress came into the makeup room and she didn't even introduce herself to me. She just said to the makeup artist, and what's she playing? And I thought, oh, right, okay. So this is going to be fun. I can just feel it. And lovely Sheila said, would you like a drink, love? I said, oh, well, yeah. So she took me to her locker and opened her locker, and she had a whole bar in there. <laughs> true, true, true. And I said, oh, I don't, I don't drink. Not at 7 o'clock in the morning, but thank you. <laughs> She looks great. Loved her. <laughs> this is for Maria. Oh. Um, I was just wondering, did the show portray the Greek community realistically for the time, or was it a bit cliché? Look, I think it was a little bit clichéd, to be honest. <laughs> Has anything changed? I doubt. I think a lot of uh, different ethnicities are always portrayed in a cliché kind of way. Um, and that's down to writers, and it's also down to producers, because that's what they want to convey. Um, yeah, she was. Uh, she, obviously, she just came off a boat from the 50s, even though it was set in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one time that ethnicity was not taken into account and exploited was when Justine Saunders, mm. fabulous indigenous mate of mine, um, was portrayed as a... Um, uh, as a, she was a, 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 what, a social worker or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. but a university educated friend of um, Anne Reynolds, and not a word mentioned about her Aboriginality. Of course. And that was the first time, because Justine up to that point had always had to play the victim, the fringe dweller, the, the, you know, the rape victim, the, the drunk, and she'd never ever had a role, and Prisoner was the only show that actually started to do that. And now, of course, and as I say in my book, there's a whole swag of fabulous indigenous women out there writing, acting, directing, producing, doing everything. Yeah. And Auntie Justine would have been very proud of them. Absolutely.